All right, in this demo, if you've never had a chance to play with Oracle Apex and Soda collections, um, what we're going to do is show you kind of the basics. So the first thing we're going to do is go and create a new Soda collection. Now, if you're not familiar, Soda collections are actually um, just collections of JSON documents stored in the database, where we really lever leverage the power of Autonomous to do some fun things uh, with, the, with the JSON structure, uh, with queries, or anything else really you can do in Oracle. So in this particular one, we're going to start with a single uh, file. Uh, this is MLB player data. All right, and we're going to go ahead and create a new collection called MLB players. Uh, we'll just take the default for the view and go ahead and load the data. It'll upload our document, uh, create a table, and store the JSON inside the table. All right, so now let's go look at our Soda collection. You can see the collection, uh, we can see our primary key, and the JSON document right here. Now the JSON structure we'll look at a little bit later, but it's just a default structure that uh, I grabbed this sample off the web. All right, if we want to load some more data, you can load a single file uh, through through Apex, uh, just you know using the load data button right here. Or if you're starting a project and you really want to load quite a few files, you can actually go into database actions and with Autonomous, log in as the schema owner, in this case, search demo for your Apex uh, workspace. Uh, go down to JSON. You'll see your collection here. Um, and you can click this up arrow, and it'll let you upload multiple. So we're going to make sure we have four uh, files in there. All right, now we're going to go back to the SQL workshop, um, and we're going to take a look at a, at a couple things um, that uh, would be of use if you're just getting started or if you've never used this uh, before. Um, so for starters, one of the things that you're going to need to check um, is to make sure that your Apex schema, when it was created, um, was granted the Soda app role. If it's not, you need to go to your autonomous administrator and, and just simply uh, make sure the workspace owner is granted that. Uh, once that's granted, you can do what I did with the upload, uh, but then we can also begin to um, run some queries. So the first one to do is just to select everything from the player's table. Um, this ID we're going to use throughout today uh, is just our primary key. It's kind of like the, the row ID. Um, and then this is the core uh, core information uh, for the, the JSON type. Uh, it's get the title JSON document. So anytime you see in a query, JSON underscore document, we're actually querying uh, this particular um, column. So let's go ahead and just for the sake of this, I'm going to put the unique ID, and then we're going to look through a handful of, of sample queries here um, that will do different things. So uh, first and foremost, how do you query just this information um, and get results? Well, the syntax is, you know, um, we've got MLB players P, and then we say p.json document, which is our column uh, over here, remember? Uh, and then we can begin filtering through um, the particular JSON structure, whatever it may be. So in our case, we've got player info, query results, row, and then we're going to display uh, the, the first in, um, display name of the player, the name display first last of the, of the player. So let's go ahead and run this query so you can see what it looks like. So you can see here, uh, that's the first name and last name of the player. And this will correspond, you know, whatever this path is, corresponds to your sample JSON. So we've got player info, query results, row, and then if I go down here, name display first last. So if you've ever programmed in JavaScript, you know, very similar to what you, you do there. Um, similarly, you can begin to filter through this. So you can use, um, you know, if you want to get just a single row, I can use the, the main ID here to get the information. Or uh, you can also search through and say, hey, show me all the players uh, with documents in the collection that have a jersey number of 97. So you can similarly, you can do that as well. The query will work. Um, if you want to get just the raw JSON, there's this JSON underscore serialize uh, uh, function here. Uh, and this will return just kind of everything as JSON, which sometimes you need to do. Uh, there's also some really cool uh, transformation functions we're going to take a look at right here. Um, inside of, it's called JSON transform. Uh, this can be used inside queries or update statements. But in this one, we're going to go ahead and let's select uh, the copyright information from the players. All right, so we're going to transform the document, the document um, and we're going to remove, in this case, remove the copyright. Uh, from the, the text itself. And if I go back here to the serialize and run that again, 
you can see that there is a copyright notice. We're essentially removing an element uh, with this first query. Um, the second one, we're going to actually insert an element. So we're going to pretend um, like we've got uh, a home run count for, for this particular uh, player. I'm um, going to put the ID at the bottom at the end of the query and go ahead. Uh, you notice that there, there are no home runs here uh, in the, the raw JSON. We can run this and now it'll insert. In this case, it's going to insert a field with a numeric of 20 as the number of home runs that this particular player uh, has hit. Um, next, we're going to use the transform to kind of update uh, two values. So we're going to update the, the age to 39, uh, and we're going to update the jersey to 39. This particular player wants to, to change, you know, maybe wants to match it up. So um, if we look down here to start with, the age currently is set to 38, and the jersey number is set to 97. All right, so let's go ahead and run this query, and you'll see that what it'll bring back will be a jersey number of 30, 39, and we will have also set the A to, to 39 right here as well. All right, now we're going to go through and, and show you just how we can use this to update right, the uh, JSON transform. So I'm just going to run a, a little bit different query on the same thing. We've got our jersey number and our age, but instead of having looked through the serialized data, um, now we're going to go through and we're actually going to update these values. There we go. So in this case, we've got an age of 39 that's a number in the JSON, and we've got a jersey number that's uh, a string or var car of, of 39. All right, the other function we're going to look at is merge patch. Um, this really operates to kind of update JSON or update query in JSON, but it doesn't do nest, right? So it's a way you can do a core structure, but if you need to do nested updates like we just did, you want to use the transform outside of nest, the nested updates, um, you can definitely use merge patch. So in this particular case, we're going to go ahead and make it a, a much shorter copyright uh, using merge patch. Yep, there you can see it did that. Um, and similarly, we can go ahead and we could also update um, to a much shorter copyright, make it official uh, with an update statement. So I'll go ahead and run the select. Okay, it's got the long one. Go ahead and run, update it to the short one. Query again. Okay, and last but not least, um, we do have the ability to kind of write our own queries, um, you know, using this syntax here where you essentially map out the path, right, uh, in the JSON table to the document, uh, and then you can call it up here. Where this is really useful is, like you saw our view in the beginning where it had the long names. Um, this is just one way you can create a quick view or even a materialized view, just if you want to store your data um, to make it a little bit more user-friendly, a little bit more table of a table structure um, as you go through. So this is just kind of an intro to Soda Collections and SQL Worksheet um, is it in, in, inside Apex. Uh, in future videos, we'll show you how to connect and use some of the APIs uh, that are out of the box created uh, when you build a Soda Collection.